The Pandora nest has been neutralized and abandoned by its inhabitants. The rest of humanity can breathe a sigh of relief. Welcome, readers. I don't know how many of you will be familiar with this game, uh, but uh, if you're coming over from Vaughn, then I'm sure you're familiar with the tactical, turn-based tactical strategy game genre, uh, at the very least, and this is a particularly good example of that, in my, my opinion. A mysterious being known as the Apostle of the Once Born, a servant of the Exalted, has pressed, uh, sorry, has passed by our base, leaving the following message. What is the nature of a human being? Can we change? Is the fault in our souls where it may never be reached? Or is it in these broken bodies of ours? Perhaps the Phoenix Project can be a vessel of change. It is not up to this humble Apostle to make such a de decision, but I wish you well. May your actions please the Keeper of the Threshold. He will seek you out when you have shown your worth. The first initiation. Okay. Looks like we've started working our way up the hierarchy of the disciples. Nice. All right. Oh, I, I hate it that I have to waste our... Oh. Wait. Oh. Do they only refill the bullets in the magazine? Oh, because if so, that is glorious. That one is probably a full... That's probably a full magazine they need to do, but that is glorious. Yeah, we'll be going on a tea break very, very soon. I really like that. Really like that, actually. I hadn't noticed that before, but I think that's pretty, pretty awesome that, you know, instead of the, the cost of an entire new magazine, if I've only shot like three bullets out of it, then I only pay for three bullets. We shot more than three bullets in almost every magazine, as far as I'm aware. But, well, actually, except for the pistol. But, uh, diplomacy, how are we standing right now? Wow, 16 and 6. Okay. Okay, not bad. We're getting very friendly with uh, the disciples of Adam. <laughs> is that just because they are friendlier people? Or do, do, is there just something about us that just exudes? Yeah, no, they're, they're mutant friends. They totally want to change. I've watched Avax Cataclysm Let's Plays. I know how how he doesn't much have any uh, any love for the human form. He's not particularly attached to it. It's just a tool. And if uh, if that tool could be enhanced, I don't know, like, like, say, adding an extra couple of sets of legs and being able to spin web and, you know, eat people without feeling like you're eating your own kind. Oh, that's just the way it is. Ah. Pushing the spider threshold is best, but threshold to push. True facts, not up for debate. Um, okay, well, we've got Pandoran colonies now. That gives a lot of tech. Oh, my God. If you <laughs> cross the pure and Anu, can you get Mecha Dendrites? I hope we can. Now I want them. I know that, um... Because back when I first played this, I know they were already talking about bringing out the stuff that would, like, add... Uh... I think... It, was, it, was it Flash and Steel or, or something? Like, one of the first DLCs. I know that you can get, like, techs which have extra arms on their, on their mechanical suit with New Jericho. So that would be amazing if you could cross Anu and Pure. I don't know. We'll have to see. But I think I'm just going to let them go through that first. Uh, right, that was a decent bit of work. Let's have a look at our personnel. Uh, they all lost a little bit of stamina, but that's fine. As, as a whole, we didn't take many rounds to get all that done. Um, 30 points there. Definitely worth an investment of two of that to get willpower up to 11. We can now use our jetpack significantly more. Uh, I'm going to do the same here. 11 seems to be, to me, a good place to be for Will. Oh, you're already way up there. I don't need to put any more in you. Wow. Actually, you're kind of crazy good. Need speed more than anything for you, though. You're not going to be particularly useful to us until you're a fast, speedy boy. Transhumanist is only a step and a half away from biomechanical mass you dream of becoming somebody. Indeed, you know. Baby steps. First, 
first we 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 uh, mesh the the steel and the flesh. Then we shed the original bits that no longer serve a purpose. Gradually move things around. You know, no, shed that attachment to a vaguely humanoid shape. I don't care if my brain is in my head or whether it's distributed all across my body. That's fine to me. I don't need knuckled fingers. I could have tentacle fingers. That's fine. And eventually, flesh beasts consuming an entire world to become a planet brain. It's a very natural, gradual, it's almost romantic path through through the, the the biological ascendancy. All right. Where do we want to go next? Well, we were expanding out over there, but at this stage, I think we're gonna search around close to where this. Uh, where this is spreading right now, I think it's probably wise. And get down here. I really want to get that that uh, alchemist. The pure is obviously something we want to do, but I wouldn't mind getting a little bit more um, skill and time with my my troops before then. I think that would actually be really nice. Avak, have you ever played Sid Meier's Alpha Centauri? Yes, I have, and it is glorious. Absolutely glorious. Avak, I've seen several playthroughs antagonize Jericho. Would like to see what they can do. Um, please consider antagonizing Synedrion and keeping Anu at least aligned. Uh, I mean, I'll consider it. I, I'm just kind of playing it right now, and I want to pursue the pure. That's as simple as that. However, Butter's right. One thing to bear in mind, I, I imagine, you know what, I, I kind of feel that it's almost the th the thing to do to to antagonize New Jericho just because of the the portrayal and writing of Tobias West. Um, but I'm not, I don't really care which faction we ally to, but in terms of what I understand as the uh, progression of diplomatic um, leanings, uh, uh, of like like friendship and alliance and stuff like that, they will all give missions to pick on one of the others. However, it's a net benefit. If I were to do the jo the the mission for Anu to attack, let, let's just say Anu said, "Yeah, attack New Jericho," and New Jericho said, "Yeah, attack Anu." Apparently you will get a net benefit from doing both of them. You don't actually, like, you will lose some uh, New Jericho standing by attacking them and gain a lot of standing with, with Anu. And then when you counter, when you attack Anu, you will undo the damage you did and a little bit more for New Jericho by having done their mission and not lose everything you gained. For Anu. So you can, as long as you play your cards carefully, because obviously there's three of them, so it's quite possible they end up picking on one. But as long as you play your cards carefully, you should be able to to balance it. And certainly, attacking Pandoran bases and things like that should allow it to, to pull it up. So I'm I'm not looking to make an enemy of anyone in particular. Um, I would much rather friendly relationships with all of them. Honestly, I don't care if they're all at each other's throats, as long as none of them are at mine. That being said. This pure storyline, I definitely want to see where that's going. So I'm 100% going to be attacking the New Jericho base. We'll see what we can do to try and fix it. The, that's a, a very long-winded way of saying, I have not decided on any kind of, I am definitely going to be friends with these, and I'm definitely going to be friends with them, I, I dislike them, or I dislike uh, those over there. We'll just see where it goes, but I'm not looking to like make a dump stat, if you want to think of diplomacy like that. How goes it? Uh, it goes well, Arden Drub. Goes well. However, well, let's just quickly explore this site. But we're about to go on a tea break. So if this is a, a mission straight away, then we're wrapping up there. Oh. Well. Enter Synedrian. Stage left. We finally found Oz. Not in Oz, though. At the Synedrian Haven of Oz, the situation is tense. Someone figured out that our open and democratic society would be easy to infiltrate and steal from, one of the Haven citizens tells our operatives. They pretend to join us, and then made it off with some critical research which I assume they want to sell to another faction. The citizens sighs. I said they made off, but the truth is they didn't get very far. 
In fact, they're stuck in the haven, but... As you can imagine, this is a strange situation. These people pretended to be our friends. They lived in Oz for months. All just to make a profit. I suppose all the habits die hard. Uh, we could assist you, but... Hang on. What? So... They can't escape because you're probably ultra tech and like now the defenses are active. They 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 can't they've got nowhere to turn to. Uh, they refuse to give up, but you refuse to kill them. But you're gonna be okay if we do because that, it, somehow that doesn't that that doesn't count. Uh, mm. Hmm. I'm not sure about this. I feel that this casts uh, a, a questionable. Question of Spectre over the ethics of Synedrian. Me doing it is more impersonal, but surely... <laughs> they know what the outcome is going to be. Their action leads to... Like, A leads to C. Whether it goes through B or whether it goes straight to C. C is the destination. C being them dead. <laughs> A being, Synedrian does something. Whether it is pick up a gun and shoot the, the people who stole this stuff, or tell someone else with guns to shoot the people who stole their stuff. I, hmm. Yeah. Stop a group of thieves who have stolen critical research. Sure, we'll, we'll do that. But we'll do that after the tea break. Chat, I need to go and top up my teacup because it is empty. I will be back in a mere couple of minutes. But in this time, it's your chance to get up, stretch your legs, go let your pets know that you haven't forgot that they existed, and in fact, there is still food in their food bowl, no matter what the cat is telling you. Doesn't, no, no, no and looking at me like that, per, rubbing against my leg doesn't change the fact your bowl still has bloody food in it. Eat that first. Okay, time for us. Um, to deploy squad once again. The squad that we've got is actually getting quite nice. Um, though I wouldn't mind diversifying some of their skill sets. Definitely having three... Well, actually having three assaults isn't terribly bad. But um, maybe mixing up the assaults a little bit would be a good move. We'll see. We will see. Maybe the same with the heavy. If I could have assault heavies, I, I would be on board with that. Though, heavy snipers is kind of tempting just because of how bizarre it would be all right now apparently there are a bunch of synedrian scallywags here there's a difference though between the synedrian base and the new jericho haven base like just just the tech the the style of the area, very similar to Symes though. Was Symes more aligned with the ideals of Sanedrian? I wonder. Because this looks very much like Symes' place. Not not exactly the same. Some some differences. A little bit more industrial or or certainly more researchy. But uh, yeah, this is an interesting one. Uh... <laughs> wow, really, Belial? You do not use expensive whiskeys as mixes for for mixing cocktails. This is like, oh, I can I can see why you were were all a bit annoyed with your cousin. It's like ah, drinks drink. It's like no, <laughs> this drink took four hundred years to make. It cost me twice that in pounds to buy. It does not go into a cocktail. It is delicately, delicately drunk slowly so you can enjoy the the exquisite flavor. It is not mixed with any form of Coke, Pepsi, or anything else for that matter. Might not even allow ice in it, frankly. Right. I think, first things first, I would like to get some eyes on everything around here, so let's get up there. Okay, nothing going on out here right now. 
But I am, I am quite tempted for a heavy sniper. For one reason above all. The sniper's ability to drop the point cost of their weapon and also the fact that I could then give them a pistol. But this heavy does have certain uh, abilities which they could oh, almost boy. become a ghetto sniper anyway. Hmm. I'll move you last. I want to get around a little bit. See what there is to see. Again, I don't need to be pressed up against the cover to be in cover. Make our moves out and about. And same with you. I'm very glad to hear him. It's super glad, in fact. I'm not a bit... And I'm not even remotely keen on splitting up my forces over there. But I don't mind getting better eyes on this door. But all being said, you know, it's just drink at the end of the day. Yes, you can be a little bit grouchy with your family for just being stupid. But assuming it was not malice, it was just not really appreciating something like that. Ah, uh, it's just drink. No matter how expensive or old it is, it's not as not as valuable as your friends and your family. Uh, let's see. Uh, I don't really know where I want to move you yet. I'm on the move. I think this is going to just be a turn where I wait. Let's make sure I'm not overwatching over my ally. Uh, you can move up. Overwatch through here, maybe, just in case. I'm on Overwatch. You can't do anything, so it's just the way it's going to be. You could approach a little bit further. And I may as well take the uh, the cover that's available there. I am worried about you being somewhat isolated. So, you know what I'm going to do to help with that? I will move my Berserker over there. They don't have a lot that they can offer, but they could back you up a bit. And certainly in, in melee, they'll be devastating, but for now, that's the best of it. I expect... We would have seen them in there if they were there. I suspect we're more likely going to be seeing someone coming from the top of the, the screen. Right, time to enter. Okay, that was what I was worried about, about sending two people alone in this direction. Okay, there's actually a few people over there. That sounds good. First and foremost, how many ways up? All right, there aren't too many ways up here. Duly noted. All right, so we've got eyes. Channel open. I can dash out and I can dash back. Hi. Targeting. Two. Uh, what have you got? You got a pistol. Sanedrian laser pistol. What about you? You got a Sanedrian laser pistol too. Uh, if I take out both of their arms, they will be dead. Uh, I could just take off your leg. Basically, I want to have a look for the body part that I can definitely disable that will drop their hit points the most. The leg is a better choice, I think, than the torso, even though it technically won't drop it as much. It will really mess with their ability to move. Oh, crap. Oh. Didn't manage to take it out. That is unfortunate. Yep, back to cover then. Uh, well, we'll see about that in a moment. Hmm. Let's show them what we can do. That. That's not a good shot. 
I can partially move out and then back if I want to. And this is one of the things I really like about this game. Really just want that lag gone. Oh, I mean, you hit it, but you just didn't take it out. Okay, this is going to be a bit of painful, I suspect. Can I dash down there? I can. Let's get behind some nice tall cover. Right. We've got one person with a laser pistol there. One there, one there. That's a sniper there. Here. Get a shot on them from here. Yes, I could, actually. Um... I could just go through the window. Pushing on. Then march forward to get a bit of a better shot, Aiming. maybe. Um, I don't know if I'm going to take them out with this, and I think there's a good chance I won't. I would rather. But the problem is, if I move there, I'm really exposing myself. No, we'll go for the shot. Let's see what we can do. Barely anything, really. It's a shame. Grand shame. However, we can simply relocate back here, and we're completely impervious to their retaliation. Pushing on. Let's try and get down here as fast as I can. Up and then we'll move back to the side. Acquiring. See what we can do. Hopefully, ah! there we go. That's what we needed. All right, duck out of the way now. As for my sniper, now I know this might seem like an odd one, but I'm actually going to go into Overwatch here so that if they. If anyone decides to try and get through there, we will take them out. Now, where can you go? If you wanted to, you could climb up here. That would not be good for me. Um, I could... It's one turn to do. That would take me two turns. I could pop that, and then I could move out the way. Because as long as they would have to move to me... From here, would I be able to walk back, is the question. No, that would take me two turns. Never mind. Well... Here I come. Okay. I've got a plan. I'm going to use my war cry. It's gonna hit you. It's dropped your your movement points to two. You can't shoot anyone now. Well, actually, you've got a laser pistol, so you could probably shoot anyone that you can get in sight of in one movement point, but I don't think there's anyone you can do that for. However, use my grenade, if I can get the Ah oh, damn it, they're just not close enough. Oh, that would have been a good move, I think, but oh well. I could grenade you. It will probably mostly just sh shred your armor. Than more than anything else. Yes. But I think I'm going to do it. Let's try and do some damage at least. Now, these things are bloody expensive to make, so... They're not great to just be popping around like that, but... Oh, well. Uh, right. Can I end the turn there? Oh, I, yeah, yeah, end the turn there. Let's see what happens next. You can probably shoot at one of us. Oh, you didn't... Oh! Okay, luck, not judgment there. Very much luck, not judgment. But you'll be able to take another shot, I should imagine. You're gonna get it now. Thank you very much, Wall. Born again, anarchist. Well, 
Right, well, let's finish this one off quickly so I can stop being over here. Uh, we could go for center of mass, honestly. Didn't do very well there, but we get two shots, so might as well. Gotcha. <coughs> now, can you see them from there? Sort of. Yeah, actually. And I can shoot this four times ah, with your action this. points, so might as well. Glorious. All right. What can my heavy I'm see? Done. Heavy can't see anything, apparently. It's a little bit vexing. Got sight on you or sight on you? I might want to move out of the foliage to go for that shot, though. I can barely see you. I'm sure if I waited for the right moment, maybe I'd be able to get a clean shot, but... Uh, I've got enough will points that I could easily make a dash and an attack. A bold move, but I'm going to go for it. In fact, I could make another dash and attack. I'm not going to get right up next to you, though. This will be close enough for me to have insane accuracy, but if I then wanted someone up there to shoot down, it wouldn't necessarily uh, put me at odds of being shot as well. <gasps> One completely disabled lag. You've only got enough points to get close. But that's kind of why I made the point of pushing twice there. We had the will points, and I didn't want to get right up next because I couldn't guarantee that you would be able to do the same. I should have checked, but... There we go. There we go. Now, we're out in the open over here, which is not great. Let's at least drill back to some cover. Right, can you drop down here in one go and have a clean shot? You can. Let's do it. All I need is a clear shot. And a clear shot, I can promise you. Uh, got him. Oh, there we are. Perfect. Well, that was very nice to see. A bunch of level ups. Two people at level five now. The glass will stop. Well, I don't know if the glass actually stops bullets, but uh, you might be right, actually. It, it might just go straight through, My or it might be Athena, stopped at least one bullet. And each I'd one. like to thank you on behalf of Synedrion as a whole. You know, outsiders sometimes think of Synedrion as a bunch of naive, helpless people living in a big bubble. And I know we can appear that way, but the truth is we are more like a powder keg Trying to build a truly democratic society without hierarchies involves a lot of arguing. The terraformers want one thing, the polyphonic tendency another. Zara clashes with Nikolai, Stas tries to keep everyone calm, every haven has a totally different set of priorities, and then something like this happens. It does sound like it's a bit of a nightmare. I'm being honest about our flaws, because I think, crazily enough, the whole thing works. We've built something remarkable, given everything we've been through, and the Phoenix Project could help us really make a difference on this wretched planet. Think about it, please. We have a lot in common, and here's your payment. We believe in people being rewarded for their labor. Hey. Uh, I'm in no position to refuse payment, so I will accept it. You're welcome. That was amazing. I hope we can work together again. So do I. If you pay like that, absolutely. Uh, it'll take me two hours to, to make a new grenade. Alright, let's replenish all. That item is now in the queue. 
But having two manufacturing plants does really help. I am going to pump that up in priority though. I would like that done right now so I don't have to worry too much about that one. All right, but Sanedrian are now on the map. Let's have a look at Sanedrian. Uh, they are already quite friendly with me for the things that we've done. Defend havens against attack in order to improve your reputation. Very well. Sabotage, Disciples of Anu Haven. Sabotage, Sanedrian Haven. Energy generation. Energy generation. I'm not really in the mood for infighting right now. Sorry, but no. Uh, we did get a bunch of level ups though, which is really good. Right, so our earliest troops, like we haven't researched or even gone to the point where we can research other classes from the different factions. So we're not... Like, I could hold on to these new classes and, and splicing them until we've got super classes to be able to mix them with. Or we can just accept that early on, we've not got that many people yet, and later on we will be recruiting other people, and, and they will get the, the crazy synergies. I think we probably want to start splicing now. Ah, Lady She Labs has worked out how to pulse wrath, but you can only do it in single player mode. Ah, that, I mean, that makes sense. Um. Yeah, revenge. I don't think a fictional narrative counts as proof of, of anything. Ah, that, that is kind of fair. Um. Yeah, old guard versus new guard or delayed evolution. Yeah. I think old guard mixed with new guard. Because honestly, a, a heavy sniper. A sniper with a jetpack? That sounds terrifying and in the best possible way. So yes. We're gonna we're gonna do it. Plus, they can still get assault rifle uh, proficiency. That took a lot of points out of us to do. But I think it's going to to work out. Now I do need a sniper weapon built. So let's go ahead and build one. Take me ten hours. Do I want an extra pistol? Um, yes, actually. There we go. Can I just slide slide these up and down? No, I can't. Okay, well, that's fine. There we go. Uh, Saint Hugo, Avak, is this your absolute playthrough? What do you mean, Saint Hugo? I, I'm, I'm afraid I'm not familiar with with uh, the, that phrasing, I guess. This is my first playthrough of this since the very faltering, like, super early playthrough when it just launched and half the stuff that was intended to be in it wasn't in it yet and it was still exclusive on Epic. As in, are you going through the whole game? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, unless I die, but... I mean, <laughs> that would be the whole game for the for that for that run. But uh, yeah, no, my intent is to play through the whole game. Uh, I'm playing with all of the DLCs. Okay. Now the big issue with being a sniper is I've got a massive ne uh, penalty to my accuracy. So maybe putting on a, a sniper armor hood for that plus eight accuracy which would drop this. I mean, it's great armor, but it's dropping my accuracy by 4%. This wouldn't do a whole lot to help overcome it, but still it would be good, I think. So I will add that in there. I don't want to have to reorganize all of that. That's kind of annoying, the, the way you have to do that, but oh well. Right, let's have a look at you. Uh, you got no points to spend. You definitely have. And for you. We're just going to keep pumping Will. Honestly, it, it makes the most sense. Right. 
ready for action. Reloading and inventory actions do not cost any action points. That is glorious. Very glorious. Uh, yeah. And then an extra 15 in there. 15 willpower is actually quite a lot now. Uh, as for you, Milado, I think it's probably time that we got you... Uh, no, we're going to keep investing in your speed for now. You're almost at the point where you can move like everyone else can. In fact, you're going to be moving faster because you've got such a big bonus to your... Um, to your speed from your, your equipment. Twenty-five percent bonus stealth and plus one speed. That sounds amazing, actually. <sighs> this. Okay, that's the uh, whole group, I think. Good enough for now. It's very expensive to multi-class them, but worth it, I think. Worth it. Okay, we're waiting. Oh, the next thing is the Odin Grenade. Arthon Autopsy in eight hours. Be very nice. Training facility is going to be done in a day. Uh, who's over there right now? I guess the vehicle counts as a person, and that's why I've got that. Oh, no, no, no. This is telling me I can recruit someone. No, oh, no, it's not. I guess it is the vehicle. Okay. Uh, Dragon is a melee class, yep. Yeah. It's a berserker. Yep, yeah, let's continue moving our way down. Now, we're outside of the range of our automatic scan area now. This space will be online soonish. Satellite update still one day and 20 minutes away, but it'll be good to have it up. Let's go ahead and explore. Odin grenade is complete. Our operatives have sat down near an old amusement park. The rides are rusted and overgrown with weeds and brush. The landing zone, uh, sorry, the landing zone is pretty small and it will take quite an effort to explore the location around the aircraft. With no sight lines, it could be pretty dangerous too. Additionally, as one of our operatives points out, this is precisely the sort of place best avoided in horror movies. <laughs> chat, chat, do we do we heed horror movie lore? Or do we are we going to be the people who decide to go and search the the clearly evil and sentient rickety old house and what's worse actually suggests a split up to save time <laughs> dr fango remember to split up the team <laughs> yeah no exactly all right clear a path and search the fun fair it turns out that there are no prandoran killer clowns in the amusement park but there are plenty of broken railings and unstable roofs recovering the useful bits of machinery is quite hazardous your soldiers have lost 10 stamina still we gained 65 tech which is hugely important to us Ten stamina is a bit of a blow, though. I'm not going to lie. Uh, yeah, down to 32. 30 in some cases. Okay. Well, we can't get any closer to this yet. Not until this starts scanning and finding things for us. But, oh. Ooh, there we go. The Arthron Autopsy. Summary. Early mutations of this creature type are associated with the first mist incursion in 2029. The vast population... By the way, chat, we've, uh, we've, we've got seven years. Just, just letting you know. You know, all of the memes about 2022. Ha 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 ha. No, no, you know, this thing's got a, got a reasonable pace to it. It just, it just slowly ramps up the difficulty. The AI director isn't just going to hit us with all of the fun stuff like within the span of three years. It's going to stretch it out a little bit.
At least the 20s are staying consistent. Indeed, yeah. yeah there is that to be said for them. Uh, go to the base and then from there... No, Brithnoth, the way it works is if you can jump from... Like, if you can get to somewhere, it will path over the jumps that it needs to make. So if you can't path to it, it's because nowhere is close enough. The vast population that were compelled to walk zombie-like into the sea under the influence of the mist have been merged, somehow, with the sea creature DNA to create these Frankenstein monsters. Now we are seeing increasing numbers of Arthrons on land. The hypothesis is that land-based gestation structures are breeding Arthrons under cover of new mist outbreaks. The latest Arthron mutations have little humanity left in them, and they are considerably more dangerous to civilian populations. The longer-term danger is that we can expect their evolution to continue at a rapid pace. Genetic origins, 25% arthropod, 15% human, 60% unknown. Function, combat, subhuman intelligence allows use of melded weapons. Reproduction, cloned and mutated, ancillary objective, locate nests. Offensive mutations, claw, melded gun, organic grenade launcher, and poison spit. Defensive mutations, bony carapace, bony shield. Mobility, agile mutations are known to have high jump ability, max 3 meters. Weakness, upper arms can easily be disabled, unable to climb. Okay, new uh, research available. The Madness of Alexander Danshev. While analyzing the Arthron exoskeleton biochemistry, we recovered the notes of Alexander Danshev, a Phoenix scientist who became obsessed with bioengineering an armored suit made from Arthron-derived chitin. He cons constantly referred to revelations that came from his dreams, and he began to alienate his colleagues with his weird behavior. Randolph Symes eventually banned him from his this line of research. Unfortunately, this madness consumed him, and he fled Phoenix Point with valuable lab equipment. Ooh. Danchev's files contain encrypted plans for an expedition to a Pandoran mutation center located through his dreams. We can attempt to decipher his files and get the location. Decrypt the files, of course decrypt the files. We managed to pinpoint the location and we should send a squad to investigate. It's a long shot, but given what we now know about the Pandoran mutations, Danchev may have been onto something. The Catacombs of Despair. Yeah, of course, because you know, if you want to go anywhere, Catacombs of Despair is as good a place as any. What the heck? Ooh. The proliferation of Arthron creatures has exposed a weakness in our arsenal. A powerful short-range combat shotgun might be an effective riposte. Ooh, 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 ooh. I approve. Also, does more damage. I like these. Uh, we can also research the Nedrian, and I think we should. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll do that after the Triton autopsy. But shotguns after that, I think. Well, actually, no. No, we'll add in the Mist Sentinel and the Hatching Sentinel after that. Oh, uh... And then we'll pop, pop that back in. There we go. That'll give us plenty of research for a few days. Better than the Cliffs of Insanity? Ah, I mean, I guess... But where is this? Catacombs of Despair. Of course. Of course it's... Oh, my lord, why? So far away. Okay, so we might get that towards the end of the game. <laughs> if, in fact, we last that long. Oh. Found a new haven. Nice. Big, big haven, though. How do we not notice that until uh, so long? I guess this is letting me know kind of how what their populations are. That sort of area around it. Uh, let's have a look in here. We could trade. Food for tech, actually. Or apples for honeycombs, or apples for gears. Tiamat development, factory there. We could raid it. Uh, there's loads of things we could do. But that has... Revealed a couple new places. That's good. Let's get down there and continue our search. We will go there, don't worry, Jim. Firebird SR, nice. I would very much like you, then, to be equipped with some new gear. Namely, this. Um... 
Do I want a pistol as well? I kind of do. Because eventually, free overwatch with the pistol on every turn will be amazing. Right now, that's good enough. But uh, yeah, eventually having a pistol, that would be great. Oh, Iron Fury handgun, Max. Oh, do we have Iron Furies? No, sad. I wouldn't have minded researching that, but okay. Uh, 29, 30, 31, 30, 30, 30, 32 in terms of stamina. 